Good hopes today. Their team is heading for postseason play, and we'll introduce you to the first of our 13 who care. Plus, how you can give the gift of sight. News Channel 13 Live at Noon is coming up next. Cliff here at IHOP, and with me, a professional trained in quick decision making. What do you have, huh? Sweet 16 breakfast. Good call. How about your eggs? Sunny side up. Bacon or sausage? Sausage. Now, of all these different kinds of IHOP pancakes, what's your choice? Mm, buttermilk. No. Uh, Harvest grain and nut. No. A chocolate chip. He was doing so well. No. German. No. French. No. IHOP Sweet 16 breakfast now only $2.99. That's just $2.99 at your IHOP now. It's our spring carpet sale this week only at Carpet Warehouse. Get free pad and free installation on all in-stock Broadloom carpet, $9.99 a yard and up. Hundreds of rolls to choose from. And this special purchase Saxony carpet is only $8.99 a yard installed with pad. Nothing else to buy. Or buy this durable loop carpet for only $6.99 a yard. The installation's free. Everything's in stock, on sale, and ready to go in your home right now. This week only at all four Carpet Warehouse stores. Don't miss it. Sale ends Sunday. From WNYT, Albany, live, local, late-breaking, with Benita Zahn and meteorologist Norm Sebastian, this is News Channel 13, live at noon. Good afternoon, I'm John Gray. Benita is off today. We begin with a big story for the entire capital region. Less than one hour ago, the Albany County Yankees made a major announcement. Our Bob McNamara was there. He joins us now live with details. Mac? Thank you, John, and it was a big announcement. To put it mildly, the Albany Colony Yankees are leaving. They are leaving for Norwich, Connecticut after this coming season. 1995, they begin play there in a beautiful new $6.5 million ballpark. Of course, for us, this loss is, to say the least, devastating, particularly people who love minor league baseball. Hank Smith, the president of the team, is with us. Uh, Hank, I suppose we should have expected this because you thought about moving before to uh, Long Island, but still we thought we could save this team. I know the Urban Development Corporation was going to come up with some money, and, and they didn't do that. Or if they're going to do it, they certainly were dragging their feet, I guess. Well, we, we haven't heard from the UDC even yet. But our first priority here, Bob, was, was really to stay in Albany. Uh, we tried very hard to put together a deal that would allow us to do that and make a long-term commitment. We said it last March, and we've said it all year, and we've been consistent about it. The problem was that time ran out. We had a firm offer from Norwich. It was a one-shot deal. There was a window of opportunity for us there and we felt an obligation that we just had to accept that offer since we really hadn't heard anything from the UDC at this point. Now what, what do you really feel that you're going to draw well here this year? Your attendance was about I guess 2,500 a game last year. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people upset about this and you may get some people who are going to stay away in Moss. Well, we expect there'll be some people that are upset about it, but I think we've approached this season as though we were going to be here for the long term. We're putting a lot into the new promotions. We're making investments in the facilities. We're going to be adding a lot of things. It's going to be an exciting year. We hope people are going to understand uh, what happened and what, and what the uh, situation was here and the uncertainties we had in Albany and that we wanted to stay here. We're just as disappointed as you are and as everyone else is. We really wanted to make this work. Uh, and unfortunately, it, it didn't. There's no one to blame in this situation. Uh, we just ran out of time. Uh, we're running out of time very quickly. What happens to a lot of these uh, longtime employees with you, people like uh, Rip Rowan and John Thomas, so, uh, so well known in the area? Uh, will they lose their jobs? Can they come with you? What's going to happen? With We've them? asked everybody on the staff to join us, and I think it's up to them now to make a decision as to whether they want to move with the team. It's going to be an exciting opportunity uh, for everyone. Uh, and we're hopeful that everyone will accept that offer and, and join us in Connecticut. We don't know at this point, and we, I haven't talked individually to each of the uh, people involved, but we've made the offer to have them go with us. Well, Hank Smith, president of the Albany Colony Yankees, thank you very much. John, back to you. Thank you, Mike. Mac. Obviously some sad news there. Mac will have more on that tonight at 6. There is some good sports news, though. There are... Uh to tell you about. March Madness has descended upon the world of college hoops. Sienna will not be sitting at home when everyone else is at the dance. The NIT tournament is set and Sienna is invited. Okay, we'll be here. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. We're in. It's great for the kids and, and, and especially for DeRamus in his senior year. And uh, This team deserves a chance to keep playing. They've had a great year and everyone recognizes that maybe they've overachieved some, but if you look at the season-long uh, performance, uh, this is a nice reward for the guys and I think very well deserved. 
disappointing loss to Man. We were wondering whether we were going to get in or not. It just makes the season just all worthwhile. Yeah, we stayed there all spring break, and it was tough because we were the only people here, and, and we were wondering whether we were in or out. And it was a tough situation, but I mean, this makes it all worthwhile now. I was down like the whole last week, the rest of the team, because we didn't know what was going to happen to us if we were playing our last game. But now uh, we got another life, and we're going to try to win a game, maybe a couple games. You never know what can happen now. It's postseason, so and now we're in March Madness. Yes, they are. Sienna will have their work cut out for them, though, when they play their opening game against Georgia Tech. That game may be played down at the Knickerbocker Arena this Thursday. We say may because some scheduling things do have to be worked out at the Nick before that will happen. Unfortunately, the news is not quite as good for the Sienna women's basketball team. The NCAA tournament has announced their choice for teams in their big tournament. And the Seattle ladies were not invited. It is a bit surprising to some because the team had an impressive record of 24 and 4 this season, and a couple of the teams that they did beat did get in. But the Saints were also passed over, by the way, by the women's NIT tourney as well. An Albany man is still clinging to life this noontime after a terrible fire over the weekend. The blaze hit Saturday night at this home on Clinton Street. Stephen Smith was on the second floor fighting to get a window open when he caught on fire. He suffered burns over 80% of his body. He was transferred down to Westchester County's Medical Center. There at this hour, he remains in critical condition. President Clinton is taking time from his busy schedule to pay a visit to Fort Drum. The president stopping by to thank the soldiers from the 10th Mountain Division who took part in the peacekeeping mission over in East Africa. With everything that's happening with Whitewater right now, you can be certain the president's stop will be well covered by the media. Police in Charlotte, North Carolina say that a serial killer has conducted a reign of terror for nearly two years. Now they believe they have their man. They've arrested a crack addicted drifter who allegedly robbed and killed women to support his habit. Larry Mayer has more. A single brutal killing is enough to shock a neighborhood. But when it happens again, and again, and again, an entire city can be traumatized. Do you know how hard this is to live without her? Do you know how bad I hurt? It's awful because I keep seeing her. Four times in three weeks, police in Charlotte found young women dead in their homes or apartments, all in the same part of town. And fear began to spread. It makes me wonder if they're going to come to our apartments next. It could have been me. It could have been anybody. Police believe all the recent killings are the work of the same man. 28-year-old Henry Lewis Wallace, described as a drug addict with a long criminal record, is under arrest, charged with those deaths. And with others, dating back nearly two years. This person was responsible for the murder of 10 women in Charlotte during the time period May 27, 1992 until March 12, 1994. Investigators believe Wallace knew at least some of the victims and strangled most of them. He had been arrested last month on a theft charge, then released. Four women died after Wallace was let go. He's suspected of another killing in South Carolina and wanted on other charges in Washington state. Police say Wallace is cooperating with their investigation, and they have reassuring words for the people of Charlotte. The females in our community can feel a little safer when they, they go to bed tonight because we're 100% uh, convinced that this person is responsible for uh, these 10 murders. Larry Maher, CNN reporting. Come here on News Channel 13 live at noon. Things are turning around for former President Nixon in Russia. We'll explain when we come back. News Channel 13 is sponsored in part by Tebbets Funeral Home. For five generations, my family has always been there when you needed us. The Tebbit family tradition of personalized service and attention to detail was forged over 140 years ago by my ancestors. They cared about all the needs of the people in their community, regardless of their financial means. These needs are just as important today, so we will continue to provide free prearrangement counseling and funeral planning services with the same reputation of quality and affordability you've known for many years. It's fun, it's healthy, it's good exercise. I think I lost about 10 pounds that day. It looks like the hula hoop is making a comeback. It's a uh, hoop. Hula. On the next Entertainment Tonight, we'll see how Tim Robbins mastered the rhythm and why this hip-shaking craze may be the exercise fad of the 90s. Then, can Bob Newhart's secretary Carol handle the wrath of Murphy Brown? Find out on Entertainment Tonight. Tonight at 7 on News Channel 13. 
We've got a saying at Thomas's English Muffins. There's a baker behind every nook and cranny. Well, that's me. And I've been proud for a lot of years now to make sure people are getting English muffins that toast up golden brown and that are baked like Mr. Thomas baked them over a hundred years ago in England. Now that's a muffin. Thomas's English muffins. There's a baker behind every nook and cranny. A Republican senator who would like to be a Republican governor is about to make it official. Senator George Pataki has called a news conference for 2 o'clock this afternoon. His press people tell us he will formally announce his candidacy for governor. Pataki, of course, seeking the nomination. If he secures that, he will with all certainty face a Governor Cuomo in the fall. Assemblyman Arno Proskin is under fire for his handling of an elderly woman's will. The woman has died and it turns out she left nearly $50,000 to Proskin and his four children. At the same time, some of this woman's, uh, woman's own family have been cut out of the estate. Proskin says that is the way the woman wanted it and he did nothing wrong here. Former U.S. President Richard Nixon said today that there is no other leader in Russia ready to step into the position of president. Nixon made his remarks after a meeting with other Russian lawmakers this morning. He says no other leader can fill Boris Yeltsin's shoes. As you uh, may remember, Yeltsin and other top Russian officials shunned Nixon last week after he met with some other Yeltsin opponents. Uh, then over the weekend, Yeltsin ended the fallout and urged other Russian politicians to please meet with former President Nixon. Well, you may not think that taking care of your feet is very important, but our next guest would certainly disagree. Dr. Joseph Crisofulli is a podiatrist from Albany Memorial. He joins us now live, and you say foot care is important for everybody, especially with certain conditions. Let's, let's just start with the general uh, question. It is important, true. Oh, no question. No question. Proper fitting shoes, uh, proper hygiene, uh, the right kind of shoe to match the right kind of foot uh, are definitely uh, factors that need to be considered. If you don't take care of them, what can happen? What kind of problems can you run into? Well, the, you know, the, the most important thing is to get after these things early. So uh, in childhood, you want to be sure you have the right fitting shoes because later in life you can wind up with many deformities that will require some kind of surgery. Will you know you have a problem? I mean, obviously, if the shoes are tight and they hurt, you know you have a problem. But are there signs you should look for that maybe there's a problem with your feet? Well, yeah, any, any uh, redness or any uh, irritating uh, uh, signs are certainly the first signs uh, that you would notice. Uh, other than that, uh, pain is probably the biggest uh, uh, common denominator. Is it also important uh, with people who perhaps run or do a lot of exercising? Because if you go to the store, you see a lot of different kinds of shoes for different kinds of exercises. There's a reason for that, right? Exactly, exactly. Uh, shoes are designed for specific types of sports, no question. Uh, but more importantly, I think it's important that the patient uh, un understand and be aware of the fact that certain shoes are for certain types of feet. Uh, the environmental factors, i.e. the shoe, uh, can lead to uh, a problem uh, uh, showing itself a, a lot sooner uh, than it might normally you say diabetes in particular is tied in to the feet. I wasn't aware of this. How are they connected, those Well, two? the circulatory problems associated with diabetes throughout the body are uh, well documented in the foot. Um, the biggest thing you worry about with diabetics is, is uh, ability to heal. Um, you know, a lot of diabetics don't have uh, real good sensation as well as poor circulation, so they don't know that they've injured themselves, and because of the lack of uh, healing ability, the lack of sensation, uh, they will go on to problems that they're unaware of, and by the time they're identified, uh, it can be too late. You have some screening or something coming up we should be aware of? Correct. On the 22nd of uh, March at the uh, Albany Memorial Hospital Professional Building, we're doing a uh, free diabetic foot screening where we will be screening for uh, circulatory and neurologic problems. Can this be an indication if you have a a problem with circulation that you could have the diabetes and you may not even know it? Certainly uh, there have been patients that have been diagnosed through clinics and screenings that don't have diabetes uh, or are unaware that they have diabetes and have been diagnosed uh, via uh, other pathways. Dr. Joseph Crisofulli, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Hopefully you'll get a nice turnout there for the uh, free screening. We hope so. It is free. Although today may seem a little bit mild, colder temperatures are heading our way. Paul Cayano is up next with all the weather details. We hope you stay with us. Mind if we ask you a few questions? How many plates do you fill up at a buffet? How big are the plates? Because your answers help us custom tailor a program that tackles your biggest problems first. Have you ever passed up the elevator for the stairs? 
in a fire drill once. The new Jenny Craig, because no two people are overweight in exactly the same way. How many times have you tried to lose weight in the past? How much time have you got? Lose all the weight you want for $99 when you call 1-800-94-JENNY. Call right now. If you couldn't get to the Capital District Auto Show, no problem. The excitement of the auto show is happening today at your Empire Buick dealer showroom. For only $2.99 a month, you can get a big car, the Buick LeSabre. Not a tiny car, and it's loaded with about everything. Or Buick Century for $14,995. It's also loaded. See your Empire Buick dealers today and see why Buick is the symbol for quality in America. See Della, Goldstein, Mangino, Morris, New Country, Northway, or Topper.